Today we're going to be looking at some crazy public freakouts caught on camera. Arizona Republicans praying and speaking in tongue in Arizona Senate floor. Let it be so, Father God. Let it be so. 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 I'm gonna assume that they are maybe Christian. Whenever I think of Christians praying, I don't think of them praying in that way. Your tax dollars at work, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, yeah, like, why aren't they literally putting legislation together to help people? Side rant, that's something I hate about politics. I feel like whenever it comes to politics and people are running, obviously, for office, whether that's, you know, your typical politician or, like, president, they always say they're gonna bring in really good radical reform to help people, help the poor, help people with health care, etc. But they never end up doing it. You know, whenever you look at a politician and they're talking about all the things they want to do and what they will accomplish. They always make it out like they're literally going to completely change the country and make everyone's lives better. But do they actually? I think a lot of politicians are fake. I think a lot of them are actors and they quite frankly just lie to everyone. All they do is lie, lie, lie. They say they're going to do X, Y, and Z and then make up excuses as to why they haven't done it. But why are they praying like that? I understand praying, but that doesn't sound like praying to me. That is literally what Harry Potter was doing whenever he was talking to snakes. Do you remember that? By him and Voldemort were like connected and he could like talk to snakes. They were talking in tongues. Students recording teacher meltdown and Reading the white students about their straight white male privileges in California. Expectations, but you guys always want to push it. You privileged white boys always just want to push it to the end. No, knock it off, Trayton. Knock it off. Okay, so I feel like we are missing a little bit of context about that clip. A teacher is only gonna react like that and have a meltdown if you push him to the extreme. Trust me, I witnessed it in school. I swear at one point there was a time that a teacher literally left the school in tears because of what the pupils done to them. However, whenever it comes to privilege, a lot of people like to use it to victimize themselves. If you live in a Western country, you are privileged full stop. There is oppression in every country, I do agree with that. However, a lot of people don't realize what actual oppression is like. All you have to do is look at other countries. I've spoken to many gay people like me around the world who live in actual countries where it's literally illegal to be gay. If they open up and talk about being gay, they could literally be put in the jail, or in some cases, literally murdered. Now that is oppression. There's a lot of oppression around the world. However, a lot of times the oppression that we think we have isn't actual oppression. We are very privileged to live in the country we live in. Hence why people put their lives at risk to come to countries like ours. But she's white too. I mean, that's what you're gonna realize. A lot of these white savior people just talk crap about white people. It doesn't look good. I'm gonna say this to anyone out there who isn't white. If you ever come across a white person, I talk about how they hate white people and white people are all evil, etc. Do not go near them, they are weird. I can't stand people who slag their own people off. For example, a lot of people from the UK always talk about how they hate being British. I love it, like, I honestly think British people are some of the nicest people in the world. But if someone makes their whole personality, you know, oh, I hate people like me, etc., don't go near them because there's something up with them. Protesters were arrested at college in LA after storming a campus building and threatening the college president. Excuse me? Everyone in this building? is immediately subject to suspension. Harassment is following me with a camera that is now clear. If you do not leave within the next 10 minutes, every student in this building is immediately suspended from this institution. If you are from Pomona, if you are from elsewhere, you immediately will be banned from this campus. Is that clear? Okay, so they're allowed to protest outside, so they're not banned from protesting. Oh damn, they're proper gunned up. Like they have got their guns at the ready. Yeah, let us take care of this first one. Yeah. Okay. Ready? 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 
I'm so sorry, but acting like that does not help anyone in the sliders. If you're gonna protest, you protest peacefully. And look, as you can see, there's a lot of police cars there. Whenever it comes to protesting, there's a way to do protesting and a way not to do protesting. If you storm into a building and harass a college president, it is not going to get you what you want. I see protesting videos all the time where people just storm buildings and harass people. And you know, it makes me think, what is their actual goal? Is their goal just to cause chaos and make a lot of noise? Or is it actually for a good cause? I see it a lot of times whenever it comes to climate people, you know, they block roads, etc. That isn't going to make people support you. It's going to make people go against you. If if you're gonna protest, go to like a politician's building. Protest outside, don't go inside. However, they can actually change stuff. You know, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to protest. Just don't go and harass people. And then yet again, don't sit there and swear at the police. Like, I'm so sorry, you're literally gonna get yourself arrested. You know, the police have protection. If you're at a protest and you threaten like murder them or start swearing at them, you probably will end up getting arrested. God damn, these people are insufferable. The thing is as well, they're probably protesting for a good cause in some cases. However, the way they act and the way they are is gonna make people go against it. For example, Climate change people, like we all know we have to protect the climate. Everyone never comes to organizations like Just Stop Oil and they go and like spray people's houses red and block traffic. That's not gonna make people want to support you. It will make people go against you. Look at all these brave heroes covering their faces to avoid being recognized. Probably because I know deep down that what they're doing is wrong. I understand people covering their faces at protests, you know, to protect their identity. However, I feel like in their case, the reason they're covering their faces is so it means that they can get away with more. Who's gonna go to a protest without their face covered up and then swear to place and storm into a building? No person would do that. That, but it's because they know what they're doing is wrong. So if you ever do want to protest, protest peacefully and if it starts to get violent, leave. It's not worth it. It's not worth getting into fights with people and the police and end up getting arrested and having a criminal record. If it starts to go south, just leave. They fired Derek after he stopped the shelves. And by the looks of it, Derek is now pulling everything off the shelves. Which he's going to be charged for. Yo, bro, it's not going to solve it, bro. Yeah, Derek, you're not doing yourself any favours. Yo, Derek, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Derek, chill out. Touch me, get out. Hmm. They're not trying to run him over now, are they? Oh damn, now he is making a proper mess. Obviously he has gotten fired from that job at the end of his shift. However, see what he's doing right there? That is how you're gonna get arrested and be charged. That money that you made for them, however amount of hours you worked, you're literally gonna be dead. Cause he was smashing up a lot of things and some of it looked quite expensive. Like it looked like 14, 15 dollars. He's gonna be given a big fine of like 500 dollars. Is Derek aware that he will still be paid for those shells he stacked? I see when I fired Derek, he seems dumb. He seems a bit hot headed and upset, which I understand why if you've just got fired. However, yet again, you do not do that. It's like whenever you see videos of X is destroying their ex's property. If you find out your boyfriend is cheated and you don't destroy his stuff, don't destroy his car, don't destroy his phones, etc. Because in the eyes of the law, you are committing a crime. Now you're unemployed with a destruction of property charge. Exactly, that's what I was saying. You know, I understand why he smashed it up because you're upset. Whatever you're gonna have to pay for it. Is that two minutes of destruction and anger really worth the big price tag you're gonna have to pay? Because yet again, he was smashing up a load of things and it's gonna add up. What do you mean I can't have PCP in my whopper? I thought your slogan was have it your way. I think this video is in Russia somewhere. You don't want to mess with the Russian police. If you're ever gonna have a meltdown like that in a fast food place, do it in America or the UK where you'll literally get a tap in the bomb. Don't do it in Russia. Is this in Russia? That's one way to find yourself in the front line of a Z, you know? That's what I was thinking, he's doing that in Russia. Like that guy must have balls. One thing about Russian police is that they do not take crap. All you have to do is look online at protesters getting arrested in Russia. Now in a way that does take us back to the oppression conversation we were having at the beginning of the video. However, the Russian police do not mess around, they will literally body slam you. 
Yet again, why is there enough for Mel Joy in the metaphor? We see a new video like this every single week. Oh. Okay, so she wants him to kiss her. Oh. Yeah, don't be spitting in people. Like, people are obviously laughing at her, but like, this isn't funny, this is like scary. Like a mad woman, and you're gonna break my bones? You're gonna break my bones, security? Security's gonna break my bones to get me to shut up? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to my dad? I just want to know how that situation escalated to that point. Was she on something? Did she drink something? And yet again, it's in an airport. Like, what is going on with people in these airports? They need tranquilizer darts, like, in the movies. I feel like they would definitely be best in situations like that. You know, she starts spitting and screaming. You just put one wee needle in her neck and she'll pass out. And then God knows what happens to her. You know, you just get her out of the airport. It's not your business anymore. Muffer and daughter versus McDonald's employee. McDonald's in Phoenix City, Alabama, wild. Yet again, another fast food place. Like, why are people always fighting in fast food places? It's either Wendy's, in and out Starbucks, or McDonald's. Like, are you really getting this angry over a McDonald's burger? Wow. And she's acting this way in front of her child as well. Oh no. Oh, damn, no, the daughter's copying her. Oh, no. Mother like daughter, and not in a good way. It's late today. All I'm gonna say is thank god my mum is nothing like her. Her kid looks like she's already started learning and imitating the behaviour of her mother. When she has kids, the cycle is just gonna repeat and repeat. That's the sad thing though, like she is learning from her mum. She is seeing the way her mum reacts in a situation that is hostile and now she's gonna copy that and then probably pass it down to your children. It's like homophobia and racism, you know kids aren't born racist or homophobic. It's taught to them, usually by friends and family and in that daughter's case she's gonna be very, very, you know, upfront and getting people's faces. And one day she's gonna confront the wrong person. Well, anyways, guys, that's really the video there. That's some crazy freakouts caught on camera. It will seem like a more freakouts than we definitely will. Chris Pickers, Crippen, see you all tomorrow for another video.